Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten products. I picked these up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on the whole collection, just keep watching. Now, I really quickly want to shout out my earrings. These are from a new store in Fargo called Onyx and Pearl. So if you're in the FM area, definitely check them out. These were super affordable and I think they're so cute. I've been looking for hoop type earrings like this, but they actually have a hook. Um, and I just think these are so, so cute. And you guys know I love gold jewelry. So I'm so pumped that there is another new store in Fargo to check out. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that right now. Join the family and you guys will get notified. If you hit the little bell, you'll get notified every time I upload. I usually upload every other day, so every even day of the month I will upload generally. If I am planning on missing an upload, you can find all those updates on my Instagram and my Instagram stories. So that's some housekeeping stuff for you guys if you are new to my channel. Also welcome and uh, thank you for joining me. So without further ado, let's get into my review of this product. Now, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm definitely not like a blush girl. Some people love blush, some people love eyeshadow. Each person has their own preference when it comes to makeup. There's something in your collection that you just have more than others. And for me, it's definitely eyeshadow, followed by probably foundation. Those are my two favorite things. I love palettes. I think they're so creative and fun. So anyway, I decided to pick up these Bake Blush and Brightens because Katie from Lester Lux um, was raving about these and I was so so curious myself and then they were on sale during the Ulta 21 days of beauty event These usually retail for $28 and I was able to get them for like half price I think so I did something I usually never do and just picked up all the shades because I was so so curious And I felt like it was a good way to try them all out now a little bit about the product each container contains about 0.16 ounces of product and these are made in Italy and have an 18 month shelf life, which I think is really good. A little bit about the product on Ulta's website talks about how it has this like marbleized finish, how it gives you a beautiful glowing complexion, talks about how there's anti-aging properties and skin nourishing properties built into the formula. Um, just a lot of really positive things and also that it's paraben free and mineral oil free, which I guess is good for your skin. I'm not a chemist by any means, so I don't claim to know all of these things, but uh, yeah, I was so, so curious about these and I picked them all up. So the shades I have, this is the first one. This is Peach Delight, which is a vibrant pink flecked with peach shimmer, if you guys can see that. It's definitely more pink, but I do see the peachy elements coming out when I actually look at it. But uh, you guys, this is so not me. <laughs> like, I don't really, I barely ever wear blush, so... Um, that was my first problem and then like a lot of the shades feel so similar I'm gonna keep swatching for you show you some more next shade I have is called pink grapefruit This is one Katie actually talked about in particular. She said she really liked this one is more nude This is a rich beige mauve and shimmering pink now you would think this is right up my alley but honestly again, it's just like it it's very close to my skin tone and I just I just don't know about these. I feel like I really don't like them. I don't like to wear shimmer on my face. That's my biggest problem with them. So I just wanted to show you guys these because actually I am gonna return all of these blushes because I really don't see myself using them. And then this is the shade Sunswept and this is a soft pink, golden peach, and bronze beige. So there's a lot going on in this one. There's a lot of marble happening. And this is a really beautiful, mostly like a nudie shade, but I just don't think I'm gonna wear these because they are full of shimmer and I just don't like a shimmery blush. I love highlight, but I don't like a colorful blush on my face. I just prefer matte shades. And then this shade is called Honeysuckle. And this one is a copper bronze swirled with soft pink. I bet you can't even see these on my hand, but I just wanted to swatch them for you. This next shade is Pink Buttercream, and this is a petal hue swirled with copper gold flex. Again, it's just another pinky color, so I don't know if the camera is going to pick these up, but I just wanted to swatch them for you. And then this is Tropic Hues, which is the last shade with swirls of coral pink and bronze. 
Now, as I swatch these on my skin, I do think they are absolutely beautiful. If you are a fan of shimmery blushes, I would definitely recommend picking these up. But for me, I just feel like they all look the same. They're full of shimmer, and I just don't like shimmery blushes, so I will be returning these. But I wanted to get on here and film a quick review for you guys in case any of you were curious about these. Know that the formula is very shimmery, so if you don't like a bright blush, these are not going to be for you. Okay guys, that is it for this really quick video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and join our YouTube family. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.